The first thing that attracted me to education as a career um, was the education I had myself, which I thought was an absolute privilege. Um, I come from a working class family in, um, in Essex, um, and the comprehensive school I went to really believed in helping everyone to be the best they could be. And a couple of teachers in particular seemed to see something in me, which, to be honest, I don't think I saw in myself, and maybe other people didn't see in me. And they encouraged me and encouraged me and encouraged me. Um, and that was the kind of teacher I wanted to be. That's what really first attracted me to future leaders. The fact that they're not just concerned about education, but as the young person's contribution and what they can achieve in life. The first um, way that I heard about future leaders um, was actually an email um, from a head I'd previously worked with uh, who thought I might be interested. So I went home that night and researched it and I liked what I read. I particularly like the values of future leaders and their massive commitment to make sure that every single student does the very, very best they can do. There's no two ways about it. The selection process for future leaders is rigorous, but that's for a very good reason. They're looking for the best and looking for people that can genuinely make a difference in young people's lives and in some of the toughest schools in this country. When things get tough, it's what is really deep inside you, your genuine commitments that come out and influence ultimately the way that you behave and the way that you lead other people. The first time really that um, I, I had to kind of doubt myself um, was uh, at dinner during the residency training, during the, during the summer holidays. And we were sat down at a fantastic dinner after just receiving brilliant training uh, with these excellent colleagues all around and really buzzing about the importance of education and how good teaching can take a child from anywhere to anywhere. And I remember just sitting there thinking, does anyone else feel they don't deserve this? or they're not quite good enough for this. And what was really good, we had a, a, a girl who'd been on the cohort before us, who was coming back as a summer coach, and she was able to say, I can tell you now, I had exactly the same doubt as you this time last year. And I can tell you, you wouldn't be here unless they felt you were right for it. And that was a huge confidence boost, just to think, yes, well, we are here for the right reason. After a fantastic summer of training, which really delved deep into what we believed as people and equipped us, I think, really well for the residency year. Um, I started in a Manchester school. So St. Patrick's was a very successful school, an outstanding school. So I was involved primarily in increasing attainment in English and maths. Um, so we had a target group of students which gradually grew and grew and grew over the year as their progress became greater and greater. And I'm delighted to say that, that since I left St. Patrick's, they've gone from strength to strength. One fantastic example from the charter schools was when we had to get on the coach at 6.30 one morning, arrived at a school at about quarter past seven. The school was the most um, well-disciplined but maximum learning environment I've ever experienced. Those pupils were genuinely being immersed in learning, genuinely learning every minute of every day, not just um, knowledge, not just information, but actually how to exist as a citizen and how to be proud of what they were doing and contribute at home as well. My next challenge, as from January 2012, is to take over as head teacher of Sir John Thursby Community College in Burnley. Now, of course, my challenge there is to make a really good school even better. And of course, I'll be opening the doors of Sir John Thursby to say to other future leaders and Teach First teachers, come and see what we're doing here. If you can contribute here, we'll be delighted to have you. And to make sure, therefore, the network continues to grow, not just in strength, but also in depth as well. So people have a really good experience of leadership, a really good experience of schools, and, and can always see a, another way to change their practice to improve it.